Do you feel fear before doing a handstand? You sweat, you tremble, your heart beats faster, and you can't barely breathe. In this video, I will give you five tips to conquer your fear of handstands and get started today. The first step is to learn how to create a strong base by doing a push-up hold. Remember here to put your shoulders over your hands, lock out your elbows and protract your scapula, as this is what you do on a handstand to create maximum stability. And right now I'm gonna tell you a simple trick that you can apply to all those tips that I'm telling you to handle your fear of handstands. So instead of being in your head thinking about all the bad things that can happen, take a deep breath and feel your body. And especially put your focus on the pressure that you create with your hands while you keep breathing. Second tip is to feel all your weight on your hands by doing a frog stand. To do that, you place your knees over your elbows and if you are scared, just put a pillow or mat where you will land with your head. The third tip is to get used to being upside down by doing a headstand with a wall. Most people, when they try to go upside down at the beginning, they forget to breathe. So make sure that this doesn't happen to you because breathing will make everything much easier. The fourth tip is to get prepared for the worst case scenario, which means being able to safely exit the handstand whenever you need to. I recommend you to choose one of these two ways and stick to it. The first exit is the pirouette, and to do that I recommend you to learn the cartwheel. The safer way to learn a cartwheel is to first do it with your hips and knees bent to be closer from the floor. And once you can do a regular cartwheel, you can incorporate it into your handstand. The second exit is the handstand roll. Here it's very important to tuck your chin and land with the back of your neck. Also make sure that you can do first a forward roll on the ground and second from an elevated surface. But I personally don't like this exit that much as it makes me feel dizzy. Finally, the fifth tip is to baby step your way into a handstand. This means putting your feet on an elevated surface that you can handle correctly and keep building from there. Normally, when you are comfortable with your legs horizontal, you can start climbing the wall step by step until you get into a chest to wall handstand. To sum it up, we have seen five tips. The first tip was to create a stronger base. The second one was to get comfortable holding your weight on your hands. The third one was to get used to being upside down. The fourth one was to master one of the two exits. And the fifth one was to baby step your way into a handstand. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next video.